Food Labeling. Did you know that there is whole food and food products? You won't find a label on whole food, but you'd find a label on food products. Because this is processed food that is engineered to be convenient, last a long time in the store, and taste good so that you want more. Which does not mean it's good for you. You want to be smart about what you eat. And knowing the basics about labels puts you in charge of making smart decisions about what you put in your body. Every label looks pretty much like this. What's in it is over here. And here are the percent daily value numbers. The percent daily value number is the percent of what one serving gives you out of the recommended 2,000 calories in one day. Here's a cool trick. Always begin where it says ingredients, which is rarely at the top. Look at the first ingredients. If a sugar or a sweetener appears as one of the first three ingredients, it's a dessert. A salad dressing that has sugar as one of the first three ingredients and you put it on, your healthy salad just turned into a dessert. Believe me, it's a dessert. How can you stay healthy if you eat desserts all day? That's what many folks do, but they don't know it. Be careful, there are over 40 names for sugar. Finding the added or hidden sugars is the key to choosing something healthy to eat. Too much sugar turns to fat in your body. A lot of people don't know that. The sugar you really want to watch out for is high fructose corn syrup. It's put into all kinds of food because it's cheap, but it has no value for you. Just empty, harmful calories. Your body does need sugar but only the right sugar. Now read the entire list of ingredients. Do you know what all the ingredients are? What's that? If you don't know what an ingredient is, chances are it's an additive designed to preserve and enhance the flavor. It's not food. Remember, whole food, food products. They're not the same. Now we can go to the top of the label and evaluate. Serving size is all about one serving. Servings per container will tell you a lot more. A small package sometimes contains two servings. Ask yourself, if there are two servings in the package, will I be satisfied by only eating half the package or will I want more than one serving? Calories. Obviously, the more you eat, the more calories you take in. If you want to know how many calories are in the whole package, just multiply the servings per container times the calories. Whoa! Now look at calories from fat. Actually, oils and fats are important to your health. But let's get this right. Basically, there are three kinds of oils and fats. One, healthy oils and fats that come from plants, seeds, and fish. Two, not as healthy oils and fats that come from animals, like saturated fats. And three, man-made oils and fats, like partially hydrogenated or trans fats that you do not want to eat ever. Let's say the calorie number is 200, and the calories from fat number, 120. That means that over half of the calories are from fat. All partially hydrogenated or trans fats should be eliminated completely. The trans fat number must be zero. Here's an important number. Dietary fiber. Look for three grams or more for every 100 calories per serving. Fiber is essential for a healthy digestive tract and helps balance blood sugar. Fiber comes from plants including fruits, vegetables, beans, whole grains. You know, whole food. The recommended fiber intake is a minimum of 25 grams a day. So you're gonna have to eat quite a bit of good food to reach 25 grams a day. Food products may taste good, but they don't have much fiber. Sorry, 